Hi Brandon, what are you doing? I just took my uh, skidoo out of storage and uh, I'm gonna bring it in the shop, take it in for a tune up before it gets too cold. And I'm gonna uh, buy my trail pass before December 1st because it's cheaper. So I gotta change the plugs and do a few things. So what do you think of that new trailer gonna open up between Leitrim and Osgood Village? Well, I heard First about that. Trail. They're saying uh, they're gonna open up, try and open up a rail bed, and so people can open up their sleds. Uh, I go to Osgood a lot, and uh, it would be actually a good thing, so you can just fly down the rail bed. So, uh, what do you think about that? Since you're running for council. All right, I'm. Uh, I've got a membership in the uh, Ottawa Snowmobile Club. I'm a strong supporter of the uh, snowmobile recreation activities out in rural. The snowmobile uh, clubs support a lot of the businesses out in rural. They uh, support the, the gas stations. They support the restaurants. They buy their machines from the local dealers. They buy parts. They buy clothes and they buy accessories. And of course, uh, with regards to a machine like Brandon's, uh, where that happens a lot of breakdowns, it uh, can almost keep somebody uh, living. The uh, thing about skidooing uh, in uh, rural is it's a very important part of rural life. It's an important uh, part of uh, uh, the youth. It's an activity that they can do uh, that uh, keeps them away from uh, drugs, uh, smoking, drinking, that type of thing. They work on their machines in their spare time and it's a it's important part of uh, rural life uh, to help a lot of folks pass the time uh, and uh, to get out in the uh, outdoors and uh, keep in shape. One of the issues that is uh, come to my attention uh, with regards to this fall's uh, municipal election is that new multi-use uh, uh, railway uh, bed that uh, runs uh, through the village of Osgood uh, from Leitrim. There, uh, of course, the snowmobile uh, members like Brandon, uh, they want to uh, get on the trail and open it up and uh, uh, cut right through the village. Now, as uh, I have been a police officer, community police officer for a number of years out in rural, uh, I have often got complaints from folks in housing uh, developments uh, about snowmobiles on trails uh, behind their houses. I am very, very fast to tell folks that uh, if the trail was there before the subdivision went in, that it was incumbent on the folks that buy the homes in those areas to know that, and that if they don't appreciate the machines running on the trails behind their house or behind the subdivision, then it should not be incumbent on the snowmobile club to change the direction of the trails. Sometimes, such as in the village of Osgood, there's only one way to get uh, to the Red Dot restaurant or the gas stations, that type of thing, and that's to come in from Nixon Road and that type of thing. So. I uh, am a strong advocate that if the trail was there and uh, there was a subdivision or whatever put up uh, adjacent to it, that it's incumbent on the owners of the subdivision, the houses, the, the people that buy the houses, uh, to uh, take due diligence and uh, keep in mind that the trail was there before they were there. The issue though with regards to the trail that runs through the village of Osgood is a different scenario because the trail is not there. It was an old railway bed. This train used to go through, but it was a different set of circumstances. It has been uh, relayed to me quite clearly from the majority of the folks that live in Osgood that they do not want the Skidoo trail cutting through the village. We don't cut through the village in Navin. We don't cut through the village in Medcalf. If you want to go for a bite to eat at, at some of those uh, places, you take the diversion off and you can uh, park in the parking lot. Because the snowmobile trail was not there, it's going to be my position, if elected this fall, that the snowmobile trail will have to go around the village 
at the particular spot where the railway enters the village. It's only fair. The folks have made it clear they don't want to put up with the noise. It's a little bit dangerous. There is still a main street there that they have to cross and there uh, often could be folks uh, and children playing in that area. So uh, it's going to be my position that uh, the sn snowmobile trail will be diverted around Osgood Village uh, and that is because uh, it is the decision based on common sense and that is going to be my platform. The decisions will be made on common sense and the majority of the community will be the ones making the decision.